Welcome back to Teeming with Nature. Here we are in our probiotic garden today. Uh, I want to catch a little bit of video here and describe a little experiment that I did over the past uh, couple of months here. Um, I took two exact tomatoes. I bought two tomato starts from the same vendor at our farmer's market here. Um, one I have watered uh, just with water and the other I watered with the same water as well as um, twice, excuse me, once every two weeks or twice a month with a compost tea, both a soil drench as well as a foliar feed. So I wanted to see myself just what would happen. Now in hindsight, I would have liked to have done this experiment a little bit differently. Um, I used trashed soil, just totally nutrient deprived soil. So it's interesting to note that even with just nothing in the soil and no, I'm not amending this or giving it any fertilizer, that still this tomato grew to, you know, about half of its, its genetic potential. Um, obviously it's, it's leggy and kind of straggly and whatnot, but it still produced some fruit. Um, so out of the, the trashed soil over here, I have a compost tea, you know, twice a month, uh, compost tea, soil drench and foliar feed here. Uh, obviously you have, you know, five times the foliage, you have five times the fruit set as well. Um, interesting little note here you know in the in the northern california coastal area where we live here tomatoes are pretty tough to grow so we went on vacation for about three weeks during my experiment and i i um, took a suggestion of a, of a neighbor friend of ours who um, has quite a prolific garden and i wrapped the tomato um, in some like plastic to be able to give it a little greenhouse effect to heat it up a bit um, and in order to, to give it more thermal ability and more BTUs so that the tomatoes will actually kick off since they're such a, a warm um, a warm weather area, a warm weather plant and we definitely don't have a warm summer here. So what happened from that is I, I environmentally affected the plant and I, I um, developed a, a fungal issue on it. I don't know if you'll be able to get in and see these leaves or not. But I looked up this fungal issue and, and uh, you know, I was getting this kind of leaf breakdown and whatnot. This is called early blight. It's a, it's a soil-borne fungal disease. Um, and it, in this case, it environmentally got started because I wrapped it and it didn't have enough ventilation, enough circulation through the, the tomato plant during the, the three or so weeks that we were gone. So when I came home, I went, oh, no, you know, this, what about my experiment and this and that? So I took the... the um, the plastic wrap off of it and um, I'm like well this would be a good experiment to see what what compost tea is going to do for this all the research that I find says that oh boy early blights it's it's one of the most severe um, diseases you can have on a fungus for tomatoes as well as potatoes and and several other crops out there so I did soil drenches as well as as the leaf sprays the foliar feeding and um, what you'll notice is as I go further up the plant there's the the incident of the early blight goes away. So I think I caught it and um, and I think it's just kind of, you know, the damage was done to the leaves already and that's still just hanging around, but it's not developing any further, which means that I believe we, we caught this early blight with the compost tea and the, and the microbes and the compost tea, the bacteria and the, and the fungi were able to outcompete in the root zone and in the foliar and the, and the phytosphere on the, on the the leaf surface um, to outcompete that that uh, pathogenic fungi of the early blight. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, we're looking at what uh, on this test one. We're looking at almost two feet, and with this big girl, we're looking at you know a good almost four feet in height. Um, quite a bit of difference. You know, one other thing I want to point out here. Now, I haven't fertilized either of these per se. I mean, I've used compost tea, but I'm not using the compost tea from the standpoint as a fertilizer. Obviously, there is some nutrition in it or else you wouldn't get the difference here. And it's also an interesting thing to note here. Um, there's, a, there's something called nutrient cycling. Nutrient cycling is when the soil food web or the microorganisms that live in the soil, if the soil is alive and healthy like it is in this plant, they can generate nutrition in and of themselves. So for example, I put, um, it was uh, a bacteria and a fungal tea on this, on this plant. And um, 
so the bacteria are generated, the fungi are generated, I, I put them in there, but there's also more of the soil food web, excuse me, really, more of the soil food web in this fungal tea or in the, in the um, compost tea as well. Um, so when the bacteria get consumed by the protozoa that are in the, in the soil food web, therefore what I'm putting into the, so into the, into the, um, into the soil here from the compost tea, by the protozoa consuming the bacteria, they actually nitrify the soil, which is the difference in the size. I mean, I'm not, I didn't put any nitrogen on this plant that, that this one didn't get, and yet I've got four or five times the, the leaf mass. I'm sure I have four or five times the root mass as well. Um, and that only points me to um, the, the nitrification of, of the soil from, from the nutrient cycling, from the microbes in the soil from the compost tea. So healthy soil food web, non-existent soil food web. Again, it was thrashed soil to begin with. So um, that's, that's what I wanted to share. I'm going to carry this out a little bit further um, to see how much of this fruit comes to uh, ripen. I've, my, my experiment for me, though, is, is done. I, I see the results. You know, they're, they're obvious. Um, this is not the best climate for growing. Um, tomatoes, so I don't really expect this to go, you know, into a tremendously prolific plant. Um, perhaps the next time I run a, a comparison like this, I'll use some real quality soil rather than this wiped out soil that I used. So thanks for watching. Uh, holler if you have any questions, by all means. Um, and uh, I'll let you know in the next video how the tomatoes taste. Thank you.